Here we are getting into the first full week of February and tomorrow's a really big day. We're going to head up to ACI Aquaculture and meet with Chris Meckley. But first I want to give you an update on how our calc washer system is operating on the big reef. is looking really good. The automated calc unit has now been properly dosing for about 12 or 13 days as it was originally designed to help facilitate the higher pH. If you look down here, down the length of the aquarium, you'll notice it's super clear. There's a lot of great color in the corals. The camera sometimes makes it a little more blue than it actually is to the naked eye. But let's go inside and I'll show you the trends that are going on. The last time we did the update, we used a full container of calc washer that we had from Julian. We're still operating right now, 12 days later, on that same full container. It mixed this morning between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. It's off now. It's settling down and the water in there is staying clear. The line of the calc is still sitting there. We plan on changing out that calc again by week three. By this weekend, we'll change out the calc and put new calc in on top. The pH up here coming out from up there that gets pulled through the DOS system is at 12.6 today. It's at a very high pH. So we know the calc is still working working. But through communications with Kevin Berta at TSA and with Chris Mackley, changing out the calc on a regular basis is a good idea depending on what your growth is and your calcification rate in the aquarium. So some of the things that have happened over this last 12 or so day period is that our pH now, today, right this minute, is 8.36 at 3.30 in the afternoon on the 6th of February. And we had on Saturday, we had an 8.35 and then an 8.36. And then on Sunday, we had an 8.36 at 10.30 in the morning and an 8.4, first time ever I've seen that, I think in any of our reef aquariums. And then at 5.30, it was still 8.40, really doing well. This morning, 8.27. At 10 o'clock, it was 8.36. And like right now, it's still maintaining today at 8.36 through the day. So there's a little bit of fluctuation, but the one thing we got to realize is that when you look at this trend on the apex, it's staying very constant now. We've gauged it to shut off the calc if it ever gets to 8.5, 8.5 pH. Tomorrow, we're gonna to have a great tour. We're going to Chris Meckley's place. We're gonna to talk to him about the calc additions, about ICP, and we're gonna get some really cool corals while they're over there. And it's gonna be a really exciting trip for all of us to learn more from another crazy reef aquarist. Go, 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 105. So we made it all the way over to Plant City today to go to ACI. We're gonna go on in and, and find Chris Meckley and see what's going on with his Kalkwasser magic. He's got a ton of corals. It's like a coral garden. Will you look at all this stuff? I want that Calastria. I want that Acropora. Oh my God. There's Jake's green Montebora right there. That coral is off the charts. There's coral everywhere. Okay, so Josh, what do you think? There's at least five corals in here. I'm one of those. I want one of these. I want one Jolene of these. wants them all. Let's go talk to Chris. You see my Prince of Darkness hammers? He has Prince of Darkness hammers. Where's the Queen of Darkness? That's who I want to meet. With this blues wow. on the black. They're pretty cool. What did you make up that name? Um, is that I was listening a, to Ozzy Osbourne one day and I was Ozzy. thinking about it and I saw this coral and I'm like, what am I going to call this thing? And I'm like, oh, Prince of Darkness works. Everybody loves it. Each one of those was one single polyp. Wow. A year ago. Really? We've got anywhere between 20 and 30 polyps on each one. So that's a branching it's a euphilia. Parent, well, it's a branching euphilia. Thank right. you for saying that. So do you like calc washer, Chris? Just a little bit. It's the cheapest way to maintain your aquarium. Does it help with alkalinity a little bit? Just a little bit. Gio, you're taking way too much. We can't get that much. <laughs> He's been on the expensive stuff. Of course he does, right? Yeah, he made a 
He's telling me bye, I'm bye. Since we've been dosing the calc on the main reef exhibit over there, you know, I made that little voodoo witchcraft one that's uh -huh. a DIY. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I like how you, I like your, I like your thought process on it. Well, I, I dreamt about it one night, so I made it. It's, it's better than a regular caulk reactor. Caulk reactors just add undissolved caulk washer in some cases in the systems. Yeah. You can't keep the consistency right in a caulk reactor as what you can in a barrel that's standalone that doesn't have the air interface. Exactly. But if I could use some sort of a caulk reactor, damn right I would. Can you say anything to the regular general fish geeks out there about the benefits of caulk washer beyond the fact that you do it? Yes, your tank doesn't have to be a money pit. Money these companies pit. that put all these products in the market, they work, but they're gonna cost you money every month. If you wanna go cheaper, but in my opinion, more effective and more efficiently, go with caulk washer and Spend your extra money on the proper equipment to monitor things because it really isn't a hard process. It's easy. It just sounds complicated. It's a heck of a lot easier than dosing a free part solution, but dosing caulk washer is definitely way better than dosing an alkalinity buffer that's superficial. It doesn't stay in solution and in some cases creates concrete in your aquarium. Just make sure that you are mindful of all your parameters. Your most important one is pH. I don't care what anybody says. They can tell me that I'm wrong. But they haven't to prove it. Don't put that one there. Over, oh, over here. Oh my gosh. I think everybody learned a lot. We had a lot of questions. He had a lot of answers. We left with a lot of answers. We left with a few more questions related to the ICP and minor trace element additions to keep the water more in check for things that could be missing that we don't know. But the one thing I notice when I go back out, the pH has continued to run through the week. It hasn't really been much lower than 8.28 all week, but just the overall activity within the aquarium, the look, the clarity, I think it's dynamic. Like Chris said, you're gonna see the magic happen when you have this stabilized, constant, higher pH through the addition of calc washer on a constant drip basis to maintain a pH. So it's been a really exciting week. We can't wait to see the changes that'll happen with this aquarium over the next four to five weeks. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and send us your questions.